Hello and welcome to Roving Report, a program that looks at the Northeast in all its dimension and brings you the changing mood and tenor of the region in all its colors. I'm your host, Lumpen Vashum, and the highlights of today's program are Action Committee Against Unabated Taxation criticizes NSC and IM for not stopping illegal taxation in Nagaland. Manipur entrepreneurs tap potential of agro-industries. India and Bangladesh work together towards boosting border trade. And karate player from Jorhat to represent India at International Karate Championship in Tokyo. People in Nagaland have been facing many hardships due to multiple taxes imposed by various underground outfits. Recently, the NSC and IM issued a declaration stating that it would cease dialogue with the Action Committee against unabated taxation, an organization working to resolve the issue of illegal taxation in Nagaland. We have report. Frustrated by the practice of illegal tax collection by various Naga outfits, including the National Socialist Council of Nagaland, ISAC Muiva, NSC and IM, the people of Nagaland have expressed their anger through protests on various occasions. They have been demanding an end to illegal taxation as the militant outfits run a parallel government in the state. The Action Committee Against Unabated Taxation was formed in 2013 under the aegis of the Naga Council to take up the issue of multiple taxation, price rise and other such problems concerning the people. It has been reaching out to the various underground groups for a peaceful resolution of the taxation issue. However, recently the NSC and IM issued a declaration stating that it would cease to engage in dialogue with the ACAUT. This business of uh, banning and stopping dialogue with anybody that raises an issue, raises a voice or raises a question, being silenced by way of threat is certainly not the best way to solve any kind of a problem right. and therefore we would request I am to rethink what they have, they have done and what they have said. This statement is unfortunate and like uh, some members have already expressed, it was not expected from an organization, uh, a, a Naga political group that is leading this Naga political movement. So uh, we would like a rethink on this because this is a people's issue, it is a people's mandate. Corruption is a people's mandate to be fought against. And uh, we expect that, uh, that there will be a, a relook on this. The militant groups illegally collect money from the people to fund their activities. Over the years, everyone has urged insurgent outfits in Nagaland to pay heed to the plight of the people, especially the marginalized section who have to pay exorbitant taxes to various groups. Such practices hamper economic growth and in the long run, the overall development of the state. Moving on, the northeastern states have been witnessing a rapid growth in rural and urban areas, especially with the implementation of several government-run schemes. Let's focus on the changing scenario in the region with our segment Ripples. Manipur provides a suitable platform for agro-industries and an opportunity for local entrepreneurs to tap this potential. Today we meet Thangjam Joy Kumar, a dynamic young entrepreneur who runs a food and beverage production unit. His unit has generated job opportunities for many. 54-year-old Thangjam Joy Kumar ventured into agro industries by setting up a small food processing unit in Imphal East three years ago. He manufactures different food and beverage items under the brand name Likla which literally means dew drops. The unit is a source of employment for local youth 
as it employs around 200 of them. Joy Kumar has received many awards, including the prestigious Governor's Trophy for Best Entrepreneur in 2011. Already supplying products to over 1,000 retailers in Manipur, he's now dreaming of expanding the market to other states. I feel happy to employ many boys and girls in my factory. I feel happy my boys and girls working happily and going back home. And now I started thinking of supporting the economy and supporting the families of those boys and girls working in my workplace. I'm thinking of diversifying in the industry as well as the increasing the employment opportunities. The unit manufactures beverage items like orange, lemon, pineapple and passion fruit squash. The company also deals in packaged drinking water under the same brand name. The workers are happy to get better job opportunities. Achievements of young entrepreneurs like Thangjam Joy Kumar will inspire many educated unemployed youth in the region to explore new innovative ideas and become self-reliant. It's a motivational step for positive change. Let us now take a look at some of the events that made news in the Northeast recently. Two members of parliament from the Northeast have been included in the new union cabinet. BJP MP from Arunachal Pradesh Kiran Riju recently took charge as the Minister of State MOS for Home Affairs. Sarbanand Sonowal from Assam has been appointed as the Minister of State for Skill Development, Entrepreneurship and Youth Affairs and Sports Independent Charge. After taking charge, Sonowal assured to work for the development of sports in Northeast. हमारी यहाँ जो सुविधा होना चाहिए हर खिलाड़ी को न्यायभास के लिए ट्रेनिंग के लिए वो सुविधा नहीं है उत्तर प्रदेश राज्यों में तो देश की बाकी हिस्टो में जैसे सुविधा दिया गया है उसी सुविधा यहाँ भी लागू किया जाएगा Meanwhile, the donor ministry will be headed by retired General V.K. Singh. Three hardcore militants of the National Liberation Front of Tripura recently laid down their arms before the border security force in the bordering Sadai area in western Tripura. Meanwhile, in a separate incident, Assam Rifles troopers apprehended 10 militants including the top leadership of the Brun National Army from the Tripura-Assam bordering areas. We are pursuing to get the uh, cadres of NLFT to surrender before the government. Uh, the state government as well as central government has uh, placed various policy providing them uh, financial packages. Uh, that will be an incentive to motivate them to surrender. And during this pursuit, we have been able to surrender large number of militants for last three years. A large number of students from the Northeast recently took out a protest rally to condemn the molestation of a Naga woman by a lawyer in the capital. The lawyers had also allegedly assaulted youth from the region in the Tis Hazari court complex. The protesters demanded that the licenses of the accused lawyers be revoked. The police has said that a case has been registered and investigation is on. Two suspected Naga militants of Zeliang Rong United Front outfit were killed in an encounter with the security forces in Tameng Long district of Manipur. An Assam rifles personnel was also killed during the fight. Police recovered two AK series rifles and two hand grenades from the duo.
Eastern India's Army Chief Lieutenant General MMS Rai recently reviewed the security situation of Tripura and the mobilization of army and paramilitary forces in the state. During his visit, Rai met the Chief Minister and discussed various security aspects. He also met senior army and Assam Rifles officials and reviewed the situation in Tripura, Manipur and Nagaland. In order to make the students aware of the various career options, a two-day-long education fair was recently organized at the Children Park in Agartala. Representatives of several renowned universities, medical and engineering colleges from across the country participated in the fair. A large number of students and parents attended the fair to seek information about the courses available in various colleges across the country. The All Bodoland Minority Students Union of Assam recently took out a rally at Raj Bhavan demanding justice for the recent killing in the Bodoland by unidentified miscreants. Around 40 migrant Muslims were killed last month in a brutal attack by Bodo militants in Kokrajhar and Baksa district. The student's body submitted a memorandum making several demands including the arrest of the culprits and the seizure of illegal arms. A three-day-long national dance drama and ballet festival or the Tarun Kumar Fest was recently organized in Imphal by the Progressive Artist Laboratory. The festival aimed to give a chance to the artists to showcase their talent and also spread the message of peace through arts. Dance troops from Assam and Chennai also took part in the festival. The locals had a gala time witnessing solo and group performances by artists from different states. India and Bangladesh have been consistently working towards strengthening their trade relations and to develop people-to-people -people contacts. Recently, officials of both countries laid the foundation stone for border huts along the Bangladesh-Tripura border. We have a report. India's northeast region shares 1,880 km long border with Bangladesh and has potential for developing cross-border trade. In an effort to uplift the socio-economic status of the people living on both sides of the border, both countries have been working constantly to develop border hearts or markets. Recently, members of Indo-Bangladesh Border Heart Management Committee laid the foundation stone for the proposed border hearts at Kasba in Tripura. This will be the second of the proposed four border hearts along the Bangladesh-Tripura border to be built by the Ministry of Commerce at an approximate cost of Rs 2.5 crores. Once this uh, construction is over, the trade will start it and uh, uh, some, uh, some uh, items which have been already selected and identified, these are commonly used by the general public and uh, once uh, this type of the heart is introduced, Definitely, some uh, smuggling will be reduced. To their share relation, or Boshoi at a positive effect fell be Kunoshonda Honai, Karon, a Kane, do the share Baroshir Mude, Jeshamperger, J. Nibirotar, Moner Mude, Sita Tara Lalon Korek into Ashole, Sheshujukta Pana, Sita Dakanun, the border Hatem Matome, Sita Tara Dakasakat Korbe, among the Shamperger. Each border hut will have 25 vendors from each side and will sell local commodities once or twice a week. The commodities sold in the border huts are exempted from custom duties. This will not only strengthen economic cooperation but also develop people to people contacts. এক দেশের লোক আরেক দেশের সাথে আসা যাওয়া করে তখন তার একটা বন্ধুত্ব সৃষ্টি হয় কারণ আপনি যখন মানুষ দূরে দূরে থাকে তখন কিন্তু তাদের সম্পর্ক ছিন্ন হয়ে যায় আর একসাথে চলতে গেলে সবার সাথে একটা জাতি হিন্দু মুসলমান নেই বাঙালি সবাই এক হয়ে যাবে তাতে সুবিধা হবে মেঘালয় অলরেডি হ্যাজ টু বর্ডার হার্টস ওয়ান এট খালাইচার ইন দ্য ওয়েস্ট গারো হিলস ডিস্ট্রিক্ট এন্ড ইন বালাট ইন দ্য ইস্ট খাসি হিলস ডিস্ট্রিক্ট দ্য সেটিং আপ অফ বর্ডার হার্টস 
is yet another initiative to strengthen economic ties between both countries. The Northeast region has vast reserves of bamboo, which if utilized properly can boost the state's economy besides providing employment to many people. Today we take you to Katlamar village in Tripura, where a group has been providing employment by utilizing the bamboo resources available in the state. A group of unemployed youth launched Bamboo Enterprises United Benu, a handicraft workshop and community facility center in Katlamara village in 2004. The aim was to be self-employed by utilizing the locally available Kana Kaich variety of bamboo. The village was once a hotbed for militants and lacked proper employment and business opportunities for the youth. These young entrepreneurs provided training to rural artisans to create various bamboo items, including furniture. 1995 to 2001, we were displaced from the whole family. From 2002, we came to this area and we returned to this area. आके हम लोग फिर दोबारा से ये हमारा जो ट्रेडिशनल बिजनेस है बांबू का फिशिंग रॉड और बांबू प्लांटेशन ये सब काम चालू किया। More than hundred people are currently engaged with the project and supply bamboo products in the country and abroad. The Kana Kaj variety of bamboo was earlier used only for making pullers patterns. The furniture made of it is quite popular now. ऊपर पहुंचे आगे माने समस्या सिला अपन तो इड़ा समझता नहीं, अपन एक तो शांति चले। हम किसी गोवा किसी झारखंड किसी तार परे सुधीर गोवा, कोलकाता और नहीं चाहे किसी। The Northeast has huge reserves of bamboo known as green gold. Realizing the huge potential of bamboo, Tripura also set up a first of its kind bamboo park. The Japan Bank for International Cooperation also recently invested 346 crore rupees for promoting bamboo cultivation and production of bamboo craft in Tripura to make it a major commercial power in the sector. When Tripura Bamboo Mission started, so the turnover of the bamboo sector that time estimated was around 27 crores. Now it's more than uh, 116 crores and we are expecting to reach by 2017 uh, to around 200 crores turnover for the organized sector. The success of small organizations like Benu is a motivation for youth to take up self-employment and change their lives with the help of locally available natural resources. There is no dearth of talented sportsmen in India's northeast. We now meet Ramanuj Bora, a young karate player from Jorhat, who will be representing India at an international karate championship in Tokyo. 14-year-old Ramanuj Bora is a member of the team representing India at the 13th World Funakoshi Gichin Cup tournament to be held in Tokyo in October this year. A resident of Desoinagar in Assam's Jorhat district, Ramanuj has got this opportunity after winning gold at the National Karate Championship held in Mumbai in January. He's practicing hard for the upcoming international tournament. My head ninja made a papa ko bolata ki apka beta international championship me ja sakta hai. Mujhe bahut khushi hua ki main mera pehle se hi sapna tha ki main international championship me jao aur apne country ko represent karu. Isliye mujhe bahut khushi hua. Ramanuj started training in martial arts in 2004 under his father, Bijoy Bora, who's a senior karate instructor. He won his maiden bronze medal in 2006 at the state level inter district karate tournament in Guwahati. A student of class 8, Ramanuj has so far won 14 gold and many silver and bronze medals at various tournaments in the country. अभी मेरा बेटा वो वर्ल्ड कंपटीशन में भाग लेने के लिए सांस मिला है। मैं बहुत माने मैं बहुत खुश हूँ क्योंकि मेरा सपना था मैं खुद वर्ल्ड सैम्पियन में भाग लूँगा 
आ, और कुछ ना कुछ मैं मेडल जीतूंगा लेकिन मेरा जमाना तो चला गया लेकिन अभी मेरा बेटा इस स्टेज में आ गया इसलिए मैं बहुत खुश हूँ क्योंकि मेरा सपना भी पूरा होने के लिए वो जा रहा है Ramanuj's success has once again proved that when it comes to sport, youth from the northeast are second to none. Young achievers like him are a source of inspiration for many. With that, we have come to the end of this episode of Roving Report. I'm your host Limpim signing off. Do send in your feedback and suggestions to roving@anin.com. Goodbye and see you next week.